Hey Collective, how y'all doing out there today? Hope everything is well in La La Land. Now guys, we're going to tap in. We're going to do a little something different today. Pull a different overall energy. Let's see what's coming out here. Okay. Now thanks for clicking into the videos. I appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you so much for subscribing, liking, sharing the video. Leave me a comment that really does help as well. You know, it doesn't have to be anything big. You can leave a heart. Or you can tell me if the videos resonate with you. I am so interested to hear. Now you have all that glitters here. Now I did do a pre-shuffle. Now I just want to say that this doesn't necessarily have to be your energy. But the energy of someone around you. But somebody is going to make a bad choice. That might result in jail. Now, Spirit was very specific. In that pre-shuffle. And said that this is a new world. <laughs> a new world is being ushered in. And the shenanigans must go. Let me pull the cards and see what's coming out. Now we're going to pull a couple of the star seed cards. Because I want to give something positive as well as the negative. Okay. Now I don't know if the same story is going to come out. But that thing just took a big shift as I was reading the cards. It went from positive to cray cray. So guys, let me get the cards out here and I can tell a better story. Now, understand that once I get to the tarot, it really doesn't all come together until I get to that last card. However, don't take away from anything that I say previously because it all applies. Remember, this is general. And every piece of the puzzle is not going to be for you. Okay? It may be though. Okay? Alright, give us three spirits. Now you got two coming out here. And it says the seven star sisters. Birth and creation. <laughs> Why well, can't talk? Birthing, creation, tapestry of life and expression. And you have forge, don't follow, pave a new path, be a leader, you wish you had. Yeah, somebody might be trying to follow somebody that's going to lead them down a faulty path. With that, all that glitters ain't gold. Now, I was talking about yesterday, if it's too good to be true, it probably ain't true. Now, that reading didn't get too much into that, but this pre-shuffle I did really did. And remember, all readings go together. They give a synopsis of your energy. And how you go along, how you progressing. Now I do see a lot of you guys out there in your knowing. You know, shift from the hope to the knowing. I did see that in the reading as well. The pre-shuffle. Sometimes I have to do a little pre-shuffle or pre-reading uh, to get me a little warmed up. Now we just want one spirit. And you are not alone. 
so I'm gonna take this one. Well, I'll leave that there since they both came out. And you have the Water Guardian, and it says nourishment, body care, and tenderness, and reset and rest. I may need to clean my glasses off. And at the bottom of the deck is Double Mission. Light worker star seed. Serve the world by being you. With those masks on this all deck. Look at that gold. Not gold. Now I want to pull three of these. Feeling alone, shine under force, don't follow, and spread your wings under nourishment, body care, rest, and tenderness. Now, I want to get one for your feelings. Let me get all the cards out here and then I can tell you what I see what's going on. Contemplation. Yeah, somebody's going to find something very mysterious. It might be intriguing to them. Look how big her eyes are. to tap into the African Goddess Rising cards. Now if the Seven Sisters come out here, I might hit the flow, y'all. <laughs> I might hit the flow. Yeah, you got pleasure. Now I'm liking that. Let's water your garden. And spread your wings. You have worthiness, brazen. Why those seven sisters, star sisters, is above you. Now, this is indicating the number five, which is telling me that the end of a tough time is near if you're facing any difficulties. Now, this forge don't follow, it's telling you to be the leader in your own life. Now, somebody is in contemplation in regards to some information they're receiving. And like I always say, eat the meat and spit out the bones. Now, pleasure, worthiness, brazen, liberation, and contemplation. Now, maybe you're on a good path here. Now, it's crazy that you got feeling alone over here and uh, you're not alone here. And it's lining up with liberation. Now, that all that glitters. Somebody need to liberate themselves from the mask? 
Now the mask did come out in the pre-shuffled as well. Now I understand that in this time that all the masks is coming down, but all of them, all of them, everybody, it's coming down. And it's time to step into who you really are, embrace your uniqueness. Be bold in your pursuits. Yeah. Now I gotta pull the towel to see what this uh is really talking about. And that's too man, we're gonna do that again. All right, Spirit, show me clearly, please. You got the tarot card coming out here. Under pleasure, spread your wings. <laughs> I got to see what's following that. Now, this could just be ideal. Falling by the wayside that don't serve you. I'm paying attention to that. Like somebody about to get some type of wish fulfillment. Wait a minute, let me see. Now this knight of swords is rushing in at this tower. You have to pay the pentacles on worthiness. Now, I just see the page of Pentacle as the age of discovery. And understand that that Pentacle in his hand is the beginning phase of reaching that ace. Now, this is what came out. I came right back out of it. Now, I just really see this as the age of discovery. Again, like I said, being brained and mastering your heart. The heart chakra did come up in the pre shuffle. Yeah, liberating yourself from past hurts. I don't know what this is about. Maybe that's just somebody in your energy with the mask that you're liberating yourself from. Yeah, they're in contemplation over some money. Now that tower, I told y'all, Somebody, look, and it fell right out too. Somebody got their eye on some money somewhere in the midst, and I don't know what it's pertaining to exactly. But it's an illusion. And I think this water. Your garden is telling you to think these things clearly. Somebody need to purify their thoughts because there's a tower about them to happen. 
in regards to some type of pleasure that they're seeking. Then I also got a little bit of an inclination that uh, somebody was going to jail, but somebody was having a little baby boom, boom, boom on the side too. Now this Knight of Swords can be uh, representative as the police. Or some type of communication rushing at this tower. And this tower is fun following up with this Ten of Pentacles. Telling you the four is going to follow. Shine. Bring out your own uniqueness. And somebody is peeping and listening in the bushes. Something is about to be illuminated with that shine. And maybe this is what this crime is about. Now somebody was dead wrong, but they're going to be liberated and celebrating while some damn body else is crying. Oh uh, yeah. They can run, but they can't hide. And this lantern, you're not alone in those... Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody knows something about something. And Spirit just wants you to know that you are worthy. And whatever this Knight of Swords is representing is rushing in on your behalf. Somebody holding on to something too tight. And that's our dude right here, this Knight of Cups. Now he might be coming in with some information as well. In regards to this. Now that's your stability. It's some discovery in regards to some money. I told you communication is coming in regards. You're going to be happy. I told you. And some information. Some brazen act. Raising at now, I don't know who at in out the brazen part of it, but it's on your behalf. Yeah, it's on your behalf. And it could be, yeah, somebody fighting for you, or is you fighting for yourself? Look, I told you, they going down a dark path. They can run, but they can't hide. Whoever this is. Whoever this is. All about me, me, me. Now somebody's contemplating um, uh, moving forward from something. Maybe this money scheme, whatever it is. Told you they got to face karma. Now I also want to say that to be fair came out and that car was speaking about um what you put out is what you get back. 
as above, so below. Spiritual jail in jail down here too. I don't. Something is about to go down. I told you I seen a baby. And one in and another aspect of the reading. Yeah, the devil. Somebody made a bad choice. Whatever the situation is, it's pending, hasn't come to an end. But it also does represent your worthiness, your discovery. Now the death card in reverse does represent spiritual growth. Awareness. Somebody is refusing. Look, you came right back out. Some community, maybe you did it because that's lining up with brazen. And some communication coming your way, but this is I just said spiritual growth. Now maybe somebody was just trying to stop you. From excelling? Somebody is liberating themselves from something. I think that somebody hmm. All right, I got a couple stories here. Somebody got a choice to leave somebody to hell alone. If not, they're going to face the consequences. Damn, look how that fell out on me. That's just crazy. It's like somebody's in contemplation trying to stop your victory. Trying to stop you from moving forward with the deception to keep the mind games going. Yeah. Yeah. I told you somebody is going to jail. Spirit said I'm telling the truth. Somebody made a wrong decision trying to keep you in chaos and conflict. But you liberated and digging your pentacle. But somebody is in regret. It's going to be a victory for you because you are moving on. And judgment is coming down on whoever this was. And it has something to do with money for a lot of you guys. Somebody felt betrayed and stabbed in the back. Now some of you guys are just moving on from karmic relationships. And stepping into new ones because you're beginning to love yourself. That's that ascension, that growth. 
but somebody Somebody had a baby on somebody. Somebody found out a baby. Got a baby. Somebody is trying to stop somebody from moving on and collecting their true inheritance, discovering themselves. Somebody is doing something in the Ponzi scheme. Somebody is trying to lead somebody down the wrong path in regards to some money because of that all that glitters. Somebody realized that all that glitter ain't gone and had a rebirth and ascension process. Stepping away from that karma nature. Yeah. They went into hermit mode and did some self reflection. I'm just giving you an example of uh, drug them. Somebody that sell drugs. I understand that you cannot come up off of people's downfalls. That's one example of somebody waking up in this process here. All that business not go. Yeah. Or any other positive scheme that you can think of. Yeah. A relationship. Somebody was in it for a relationship trying to come up off of somebody else's coins. Gold digger action. So, yeah. Changing their ways. Because in the other reading I had the new world. And I was telling you about that when I opened up the reading. Shenanigans must go. Let's read that out. Spirit made me. I'm going to read that out. The seven sisters. Seven, seven star sisters. Now, maybe this is a warning also for somebody. Because I told y'all, y'all going to have some tests. And in these trying times, may make you want to resort to uh, desperate means. And the spirit is saying, don't do it. <laughs> oh no. Seven star sisters. And that's on page 100, which is giving me new beginnings. And it says, there are new creations that want to be born, beauty that's yearning to be woven, new consciousness that's longing to be breathed into life. If you draw this card, you're being called to surrender to these creations, to usher in a new era of consciousness, and do your bit and weaving the web of life. It's like I was just saying. Somebody is having a whole new world view in regards to how they move about. Understanding that what you put out is what you get back. You out here selling drugs to your community? Uh, you, you don't think you're going to pay for that? That's the ripple effect. I was reading in the um, cause and effect. You know, you're not just destroying that one person drug that you're selling it to. And whole family. The children. It ripples out. This is the card of the artist and the midwife. You're being called to ponder questions. What wants to be birthed through you? What new creators? What new creations? Are whispering in your ear. What beauty are you being called to make? Yeah. Basically, talking about creating 
a better reality. To think about the ripple effect, the cause. I'll give you another example. Um, Painkillers, the movie on Netflix. Oh my God. Now they done made a whole nother uh, movie for the theaters for that one. It was so cotton picking good. Now that painkillers was off the chart. When you think about the crack epidemic, epidemic, that era, and listen, the opioid was worse than that, and it's still going on. Look at it. It's a hot mess out here in the streets. All right, let's pull the three. All right, time for healing. That's right. Do not do unto others as you don't want them to do unto you. Spirit said, if you got karmic girlfriends <laughs> or boyfriends around your spouse, watch out. <laughs> oh my God. Jack, listen. They be doing the most. It says the end of a tough cycle approaches. Surrender to the divine and show the world the real you. You can't make it up. A time for healing. That cycle, that tough cycle is ending. Surrender to the mind and show the world the real you. Not the me, 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 you. Alright, now boo, that's your message. Let me come back with another one. Try to use some different cards. I told you, I don't care what cards you use. The story is still going to come out. It's going to come out. Saying whatever spirit wants to come out, I don't care what cards I pull from it, it's going to come out. All right. 